This it's amazing. is grad student Dana Hegarty's lab. It's been a lot of trial and error. Because these are her subjects. Snorkeling with seals is a booming tourism industry with a question Dana is diving into. Which colors do seals enjoy seeing or enjoy biting? Since there isn't actually much research done on the seal snorkeling tourism industry, this is kind of the first step towards that, seeing what colors are most likely to attract bites from the seals and you know what allows you to get close up without actually physically interacting with the seal. Dana hopes to find that answer today. Morning. As she heads out with marine scientist Steve Benjamin, it's easy to see why Hoyt Bay is popular with Cape fur seals and tourists. Seals love playing in its sheltered water. Tourists love seeing its playful seals, and they both love that it is free of great white sharks. It's shallow, it's cold, there's a lot of kelp, so it's not really ideal for them. Nearly 5,000 seals call it home. The day we're ready when you are. Dana will submerge four different colored bottles to see how the animals react. The colors I'm using are black, blue, yellow, and silver. And the silver is just to incorporate a shiny element because they do tend to enjoy biting onto GoPros and other shiny objects in the water. And then black because it's you know the most commonly worn wetsuit color. And then I used blue and yellow because we have fins in those colors and it's just to get a nice variety in intensity of color and brightness. So it's just good to get a, a nice spectrum of different colors. I'm just attaching my yellow bottle to its weight now. All four of my bottles are tied to a one meter pole by a rope just to keep them the same height of the ground. I think the biggest issue the problem was finding the perfect site. It's too shallow, it's difficult because the surge is carrying everything away. Too deep, it's hard because we're on free diving. It's unique because you get so up close and personal with these seals and they're so friendly and inquisitive. It's work that just hasn't been done. And it could make a big impact. The marker boy that we used to use to guide the tourists where we want to snorkel used to be bright yellow, by chance. And we found that the seals absolutely loved it. So they hung on it and they twirled and twisted. It became a hazard. But was it the yellow that caused it? Steve would love to know. If she came and said that yellow was an absolutely attraction, attractant color, then I wouldn't put my snorkelers in yellow wetsuits. Or fins. Because you don't want to like overstimulate the seals. You want them. You want the tourists to fit into the environment, not to not to attract or disturb. They can see blue, green, and yellow. That's sort of their color spectrums. They're having a load of fun. It's uh, it's like big chew toys for them. Great, the seals are great, the viz is great. But which color got the brunt of the fun? The silver, um, surprisingly less interest than I thought, because it's quite reflective, it just seems to give off quite a lot of the same colors that's in the environment already. They kind of almost ignore black. Blue wasn't a hit either. They really like the yellow, they tend to chew on the yellow bottle quite a lot. You'll, you can see the paint's been <laughs> almost shredded off. They clearly love it. There's just uh, scratches everywhere. Yellow is clearly the winner for seals and the loser for tourists. Yellow draws their attention and they want to play with it and they want to bite it. So you're more likely to have an incident where a seal bites a person if they're wearing a bright yellow or even blue wetsuit. So the black would probably be the best option. A first step toward helping regulate tourism here. But more importantly... Protection for the seals because y'all are quite cool.